Oh my god, there's a police fan over there. And the fire even starts. Is that it? Is it is, look at the roof. Wait, shh, shh. World of Water, located in Romsey. We initially went into this explore, blinded from any history that it may have. This establishment first opened its doors 40 years ago with a passion for aquatic life and conservation once flourishing into a haven for both enthusiasts and casual visitors alike. The garden centre was fully constructed next to fish and lakes, rivers and a meadow making it a hot spot. So how could it fall into such a demise? Floods? Fires? Time? for the video. You doing it or am no. I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up guys? It's those guys and today we're exploring an abandoned garden center slash aquarium. Ah, oh, try and try and soon we can actually see it. Over I don't know where my finger's pointing. That's a house is it not? That's part of it. That looks like a residential home. Yeah you are right though. This is not the correct footwear. Nah. <laughs> oh my god, try to get the little fishies. Oh, that's perfect. What, you're seeing them? Yeah. Good, you picture perfect, mate. That's what I love to hear. <laughs> I hope you see my assets. What? Your what? What? <laughs> wow, look at that. When he said, look at that, we are looking at a building that looks burnt. Safety. <laughs> Your face. You look like Theodore from Raven of the Chipmunks. <laughs> you don't want to see the angle I've got of you right now. I don't say that. Whoa, shit! <laughs> well, that's annoying. Next time I'm bringing gloves. <laughs> oh, look at my hand. Oh, we, can't, we can't leak in. What's what, your there? what I believe, mm. you see all these little, little ponds, or oh, this is what I'm going to say. I think they were koi ponds, koi ponds and any outdoor fish mm. where they could mass breed and then move them into other sections. And if you guys don't know already, Romsey is quite a wealthy area. So hobbies like these, people like to tend to. And Romsey's got an aging population where also hobbies like gardening is very popular. So there's many garden centers around here. Wow. This guy wanna make any more noise? I'm trying not to. I'm a, as we've just said, I'm a weighty boy. Yeah, as you can see, a mass fire happened in there. On the 18th of July 2023, firefighters from several stations were called out to tackle the blaze, which was first reported at 4.41pm. Eight fire engines, an aerial platform and water carriers were used to put out the flames. The fire was out by 9.30pm, but multiple crews stayed on site for hours after to dampen the area. No official cause has ever been publicised. We can only ask the question of what was the cause of the fire. Many believe it was youths who started it, while some believe a way to pass planning permission quicker, while others believe a potential insurance job, the latter in my opinion being unjustified when the company was already administrated and the building left derelict. Somebody knows. But why have they got new chairs? <laughs> why have we got new chairs? <clears throat> <sighs> I wish I was thin. Oh. 
Did that look as awkward as it felt? No, it didn't look too bad. <laughs> Let me just... I just want to go over here quick. Don't leave me in here on my own. It's scary. So you can see you've got a massive pond here. Or massive pond. And I think that's the only house that's occupied within a, within a relative distance. So if any of you do know of this place and want to come here, just be careful of that one house. I hope I've had my tetanus jab. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> hey, you went under it. I'm not going over it. Huh? Yeah, that looked a lot easier. Spider-Man. Oh, I think we stepped through it. Icky. Oh. Oop. Oh, it smells burnt, don't it? it smells proper burnt. Yeah. Come back. Oh my God, how hot it is here. I feel around here really hot. But obviously, I oh, think. What the fuck is that? I th yeah. <laughs> I it was a chicken. I think this place has been abandoned just before Christmas. So you've got the reindeer on the ground. Yeah. And then you see another. What's that? Winnie the Pooh over there. Yep. Like a garden centre like this. Look how beautiful that would have been. You got it? Yeah. It's kind of mad, you know. Had the fire even started, do you know? No, no, no idea. What the, when fires happen in abandoned places, <coughs> usually it's a insurance claim, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. I don't know, mate. This is really creepy. Oh my, may I say, what an abandoned place is this for a first one? It's yeah, this got is quite, really cool. It's got quite a bit here. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's stuff. It actually does have a lot of stuff. Make sure. Do you want me to record for a bit? Oh my God, it does pick up light and well, doesn't it? It picks it up better than my own eyes. Rafa, I'm looking through this. Is that 2P? That's why I found 2P. Yeah, look. That one's squash, though. That's a squash 2p and that's a normal 2p. I wonder if it's burnt 2p. I don't know. Burnt 2p. <laughs> oh my god, there's a bike here. Mate, there's loads of stuff here. Oh yeah, I see. Oh, I see the camera quality so much better when it's on a one time zoom for low light though. Mm. Oh yeah, this place is already, like, people have come through here to uh, ransack it and steal stuff. I was going to say vandalise, I mean. Yeah. Unless look at, it comes like that. Look at all these wardrobes. All these wardrobes and cabinets could easily be salvaged. Like uh, yeah. I feel like a lot of the stuff could. I mean, like, there's crutches here. They're, they're in relatively good nick. Crutches and a staple gun, a wheel. Obviously, garden centres are just full with crap sometimes. I'm not going to lie. What this looks like, though, is people have just dumped stuff here. I mean, maybe they were having a clear oh, Charlie, out. Charlie, what water? Huh? <laughs> Where are you wheelie been? <laughs> There's just so much stuff here. Yeah, it's there unreal. is. We might want to stay clear off the entrance until we've... Yeah, I was thinking that. I, I kind of want to have a look out quick. We go out there. Let's explore all of the inside first. And I'll have a look on the outside. Just make sure that it was... Yeah. Oh, my God. That is phenomenal looking. Look at this. I don't think it's damaged at all. Hmm. Yeah, the house over there does have a window. Mate, look at this. Look at Charlie, look at that. What? This. Oh, that's not even paying attention. Oh my god, and there's an untouched one here. There is a window in that house that. Oh my god, Charlie. They can that see directly out. Yeah, that looks right sick. There. What? This. Oh. That right there. Hey, I'm gonna, <coughs> I'm gonna go within this bit. Yeah. Right. Look at this. All electric cables. Wait, Charlie. Hmm? Try, try keep, try keep forces down. Yeah. So obviously, you've got to talk a little bit more quiet. 
that house I said is literally out here in Tudoron. There's a little distance, so I'll try to get a sneak peek. I don't want to ruin the abandoned place for us, so. So you can see it right through there. As you can see, the pond plants, water lines, just all garden and stuff. All flowers and trees in there. Man's talking to himself over there without recording. Well, I'm not holding Charlie, the camera Charlie. right now, but there's like a box of toys. Do you want the Do you want the GoPro? That's all right. I'm talking. Yeah, but you're not getting re recorded, so you're just talking to yourself. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to us in the future. <laughs> anyway, come on. We'll go around together. We'll come around. <coughs> oh my God! Tiles here feel amazing. Look. Look at this. Stand next to that dollhouse for a size comparison. Look at this. Obviously it's a bit smoke damaged. I'm also 5'11". I don't lie about my height, gentlemen. <laughs> someone someone to get like a comparison. They search that up online, <laughs> find its height, and then <laughs> yeah, drop I'm you. Five, six. <laughs> right, this is really low light, isn't it? I'm going to take over. No, no, you can't. Can I take over? Oh, yeah, if you want. <laughs> I've seen the light and reset there. Ah. <clears throat> we need your phone for a flashlight. Oh, okay, good point. Look, that, that would have been like probably an old CCTV. Is it picking up good enough? Yeah, perfect. Old CCTV unit. Like a, Jesus. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. A little USB like a router. Look at this whole system, by the way. It's like the little storage room. You can't go in there properly. No, I wouldn't want to. Good thing you said about your check uh, checkouts, right? Yeah. Look, just unused coat hangers here. Proper wooden ones as well, so they cost a little bit more. And not no shitty ones. Yeah. But for these uh, challenge video series. We want to do stuff that's simple and within our budget, so we are wanting to do stuff like, um... Oh. Sorry to disturb you. Some skis. Do you know how... Do I need to get the light out in this little bit? Yeah. I need a proper light, don't I? Yeah. But skis are expensive. You need to get one that's on top. Yeah, skis are expensive and this looks good. Yeah. But we want to do stuff like, um, going around, like a car boot sale, for example. And we're going to be looking at stuff like this. And we're gonna try and find stuff that's either antique or stuff that we can sell on to make a bit of money. I think it'll make a good video, we just need to make sure that we're doing it properly. That's amazing. Get the camera on. Look at this. These are just all old photos. Look, especially What the hell even is that? Is that here? That's is that here? Oh, debate. Is it is. Right Look here? at the roof. Look at the roof. That's right here. Yeah. Literally. Oh my god, it is. It's right here. <laughs> that's so weird. There's one thing I'm going to say that's really upsetting about abandoned places. All that history within photographs is just lost. They're probably taken from when the building was made. And these people are now deceased. And just their family won't know about those pictures would probably want them and that history just gets lost now we were saying as well about taking like a photo in each one of these places we still need to do that yeah look so that ripper i'll show that the pond i'll show that at the start yeah. it's outside on the grass area there That's part of the house that I showed still occupied. Oh yeah, you can see that where we are in the background. Yeah, we're so within there. Cool. My God, that's amazing. I'm actually so glad about that. That's really cool, actually. Look at that. Uh, like I know it's all open, and you feel like you can sort of see everything, even as you just come in, but. 
coming up close you can see all the details of the of the building and its history like we know it's only a garden center but the fact that there's photos there you know proves that there is a good history but something like this look it is proper solid but i'm tapping on it you can barely hear it it's very very deep it's not hollow something like this i bet they had on sale for like two three hundred pound minimum do you reckon yeah bro so tap it that's solid it that's is. expensive piece of wood and obviously garden centers are just a lot more expensive as it is and we're in prime romsey so romsey's just extortionate yeah there is a room back there as well yeah i know i saw a doorway over there yeah Oh, shall we do do this bit because that doorway is in line off the arm yeah look the, these are the fish aquariums <coughs> it looks really creepy watch out for glass on the floor by the way there's quite a bit here yeah. oh my god it, did it pop up on there what? I was getting a call nah. uh. Watch out for that. Do we want to try and go out that side? Because we don't want to go out there because it's going to be but I wanna in get, line with people. I want to get to that door. There's a doorway over there that leads to the left. Let's have a look. <coughs> you know, I know we're not like traversing through anything that's like major, but coming through that that first little bit and then go under that railing man did that put a strain on my body my age is showing i kind of wish i did this earlier on in my life just explored places but even just doing this once and you know putting the plan together it's really fun so hopefully we can bring more videos like this to you guys and for ourselves as well Obviously, for the bottom of aquariums in it. Oh, race car. <laughs> little fucking Patrick's home, bro. Really random, but have you seen that episode where uh, Patrick has his home taken because it's actually a turtle's? And it's a turtle shell. <laughs> I've not seen But that. it's brown because he's covered in muck. <laughs> It's really random. I've not seen that. Let's look, look at this, guys. This right down here has got a sold sign on it. So if someone's prepaid for that, or either in word paid for it. You're going to a dinosaur, aren't you? No, I thought I saw something. Oh, nice. Has it got an inscribe? Z N A S E C show. Supreme something something. 2002. Yes. If you know what that is, let us know. So, researching this ourselves, we found out that this trophy was awarded for some sort of koi show, but we couldn't find any other information. So, if you know anything about this trophy, and specifically, what the initials stand for, please comment down below. Look, that's, it's heavy as well. Real heavy. I'll, put, weighty, is it? I'll put that back where I've got that from. But wait, wait. There's a whole leaf blower there. <laughs> oh, that's huge as well. Oh, yeah, bro, a rowing machine. There's a fucking rowing oh machine. Oh, God. <laughs> See, it's just little things like this. You know, we've been here for... What, a good 20 minutes? In 20 minutes, half hour? Yeah, we, we've pretty much explored it all, but no. I mean, there is a catch machine over here. Like a, a register area. 
There's a tango here unopened. Oh, it's cherry flavour. Oh, it's... oh no, I'm not doing odds for that. You'd be fucked up. What was that, 2004? Hell no. But like, a row machine in a garden centre, you're talking about £500 minimum, let's say. And then, a leaf blower, that's our £100. Just watch out, that is getting a bit more wobbly now. How did that feel? Secure? Oh yeah, that's secure. Do you want me to take it? Get you coming over. Tell you what, the lighting's very good there. There's carp accessories. There's a bird in within here somewhere. A bird? Oh, this don't lead to where we thought it led. Does it not? No. Card machine, England flag. Mm, like a staff area. I don't want to protrude too much within this. Like, that is. That door's heavy. That is locked. Obviously, oh my god, there's a fucking dead spider there that fucking shit me <laughs> up. <laughs> See? Aiden, did you just fart? <laughs> but look, they've got like a proper HP printer in there. That looks brand new as well. Mate, Charlie, that fucking rings. Oh my oh god. My god <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. But they've got a little small picture over there. That's a dog bed over there. Yeah, he's right, that's not a pleasant smell. Oh my god, that's fine. <laughs> Why is it still here? Charlie, there's no air for it in here. Why is it still here? This floor is all muck. Yeah. Obviously it gets rained on in here. Mm. Not very on. structurally Chug. sound, is it? Uh, look behind you to the left, odds are. But wearing the shoes? <laughs> Hell no. Wait, wait. Shh, shh. Maybe not. It might have been the roof I heard. Mm. Let's see what mugs they use. You know, if you're at work or at home, you've got your favourite mug. That one's Susan's favourite mug. <laughs> Aqua one. That one's... um. Chantel's favourite mug. Chantel. I'm a geek, that's Stephen. Stephen. <laughs> oh my god. That's perfect, yeah. <laughs> 20. Wait. That's, that's private that's confidential information. Yeah, but I'm just. The date on it 21st to 1st of the 20th. 20th. Oh, yeah. Open the fridge and there you yeah. Oh no, it's going to stink so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you up in that part? Ouch! Nothing in there. Oh, there's a spider above your head. <laughs> Let's get out of there. Let's get out of this section. I think we want to go outside. Just on a quick look how amazing that is. Little d what is it? It's not Daffy Duck, is it? I don't know what it is. It looks like a little bit of a special Daffy Duck. If you feel comfortable going out there, um, I don't know. 
It's more because we're in Rolling with someone's home who's got a very clear window yeah. in. Well, that's what I was thinking. If we get out properly, then we can maybe grab a thumbnail. Yeah, just up there. Yeah. No, if we get like two over there, within line with that building, then we could grab a thumbnail maybe. What? Yeah, if you wanted them. Yeah. And then we could, look, if you place it down, because you're only going to get the building anyway. Hot tub. All the shrubbery and moss that you're able to see is actually caused by flooding. This area is very susceptible to flooding and this isn't just due to surface runoff. As I have found historical pictures dating up to a hundred years ago that show the fields that this place currently stands on being flooded. The most notable and recent major flooding here occurred in 2014 when the UK was hit by winter storms forcing the World Water Facility to shut down for up to three weeks. The World of Water hit the news due to bizarre reasons. A Chagoy Koi and a sturgeon had escaped and gone missing. The sturgeon, named Steve, had only crossed the road and got to the petrol station through the flood water. He was found in a deep puddle by the car wash and was retrieved with only a few scrapes. The Chagoy Koi carp named Chadwick endured a much more adventurous journey. He was found almost two months later by a woman walking her dog near the Salmon Leap pub in Totten, which is roughly a seven to eight mile journey. Chadwick made a full recovery and returned to his normal friendly self, but will be left with a nasty scar and a damaged dorsal fin. So this is the front of the place. We're just gonna, there is a hot tub there abandoned. And we're just going over very quick. These ponds would have likely had either fish or water plants in. We're being really quiet now. So if you struggle to hear us, sorry about that. And we are outside. Oh, and this still got some in. Huh? This has still got some in. Oh yeah. Didn't fucking sprout well, oh, wow. they look fucking ugly. Yeah, they don't look great, do they? To be fair, I think this has been a really successful first explore. <laughs> yeah, I think it has as well, to be fair. Oh, the car park. That's where that pathway probably leads to that we saw. Yeah. Look at this, a little bike. This is probably their dump area. Got Stremo here. A little bit boggy, isn't it? Just an outside area. Yeah. Might actually go up there. Have a run with it. Yeah, so. <clears throat> it's a little bit boggy. Maybe different footwear for next a time. A little bit boggy. Right there. I don't know what they would have kept in it. Livestock. Hey, this one's still got fucking shit in. <laughs> That's like Torsen. Why is he laughing? <laughs> Well, if you were going to graffiti in here, what would you put? What would I put? If yeah. I was a graffiti, I'd yeah. put a dick. Okay. <laughs> Why is there a dick in there? No. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> Fish. What's the point? He's not wrong. This is a fish place. They stored fish here. Oh, this is where we had the bird nest in. God, it's boggy boggy, isn't it? Boggy boggy. What the fuck would this have been? Looks like a ring for a trampoline or something. That's would have been one mass massive trampoline. That's a massive trampoline. <laughs> Can we exit from this way or? They look like power washers, jet washers, don't they? 
I was gonna say they look like um, the war behemoths. So if yes. you have like a little flooded area, you're right. You just know what I'll get. If it is a war hoover, I'll search that up, and we'll see. Bloody fly! Right, shall we turn back round and try and exit through the car park? I don't, I don't I think um, exiting I through the car park is the best idea. No, because you probably will be feud from the road. Even though yeah. we're about to leave, it's a risk that someone feuds us, reports it, and this place then gets exposed too much. Yeah. Even though it doesn't seem like it's dangerous here, there's always hazards wherever you go. Uh, even just that entrance in, you know. Could have cut yourself, could have fallen, who knows. Like, and me and him are trained experts, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. obviously. But one like this, been left in the rain, would have been a beautiful, long little thing. We having just a quick look at the car park, yeah, why not? We're here. Oh, li little fucking trekking pole, looks like a decent brand as well. What yeah. does it say? Head, please <coughs> give me some. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, yeah, look how. Look how it is on point five. Watch out for the top bit. Yeah. Oh, a little donation box. Wonder oh, if there's nice. money left in there. I used to love those. I never understood why my parents didn't like. Well, they'd hardly let me do it anyway. Come on, mum. It's only two p. <laughs> Every penny counts. It wasn't wrong. Pick up that 2p on the way back to it, actually. I was literally <laughs> thinking about that. Run back there and put yeah. it in. <laughs> what we should do, once we're over there, is an outro. Before the outro, I must disturb and share my theory, or should I say theories, as to why this place had to shut down. I would put it down to multiple reasons, and I should order them from most prominent to least. People in general find it easier to buy online and it is a lot cheaper than garden centres. Furthermore, in Romsey there are many local garden centres and cafes slash pubs that were competition. Also, floods making this place having to shut down multiple days a year contributing to the demise overall. Ooh, look at those, those are cool. Yeah, I know, yeah. Wonder those are really good, that's a really cool frame actually. Ah, that's why someone probably smashed that to try and get in and take it, but they're actually glued or something in. Yeah. It's a display cabinet. I'll tell you what, just sort of pan to that pond quick. I bet there's fish still in there, and I bet it would be a reasonably decent fishing spot. Yeah, quite possibly. Into that. Let's witness him struggle getting over that. <laughs> you went over it, didn't you? <laughs> Gross. Tetanus, baby. <laughs> oh my god! I'm <laughs> going over it next time. Do you want to do uh, the outro? I've done the intro. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. We do really appreciate it. We will be doing more videos like this in the future. We've actually got quite a few ideas that we yeah. want to do, not only just exploring, but we'll, we'll bring those when we're ready. Alright, and with that, thank you very much, guys. Take care. Peace. Ah, right in the cockatoo. Ow. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> Are you? Oh my god, there's a police van over there. <laughs> Imagine that come out and checked. <laughs> oh my god, that's going to be perfect for the trailer. <laughs>